And so this is an exclusive. This is the first time we're showing it to anybody uh, outside the RJ. And certainly uh, we'd encourage y'all. Y'all are welcome to write about it and, and comment about it. The Washington Post reports that Terry McAuliffe is the Democrats' attack dog. He's been in politics his adult life. That's why he just can't tell the truth. Now he's falsely attacking Ken Cuccinelli on energy. The press has consistently found McAuliffe's claims misleading, false. He's desperate to shift attention away from the news about this federal investigation, a possible visa for sale scheme, with the Chinese financing McAuliffe's own business. Terry McAuliffe, you just can't trust him. My name is Bobby Jindal. I'm the governor of the state of Louisiana, the head of RJ, chairman of RJ for this year. You know, it is good to be talking. I know we've got a number of governors in town, and certainly I'd like to offer some advice to Governor Shumlin, the head of DJ. If I were him right now, I'd be looking at the rules to see how he can replace Terry McAuliffe as their nominee in the state of Virginia. It's not often that I thank my Democratic counterparts, but I do want to thank them for nominating Terry. He is the greatest gift to Republican governors and certainly to our candidate in the state of Virginia. You know, Terry's got several problems. Started off being too liberal for the state of Virginia. Started off, he's got some comments out there about his war on coal, his comments about Obamacare not going far enough, but now he's made it even worse. Problem is, Terry's just got a problem with the truth. He has disqualified himself to be the governor of Virginia. Listen to some of his statements. He said he was gonna build green cars in this country. Great story, turns out it wasn't true. Said he was gonna create jobs in the state of Virginia. Great story, turns out it wasn't true. Said he was gonna create jobs in the state of Mississippi. Great story, turns out it wasn't true. Said he was gonna move jobs from China to America. Again, great story, turns out it wasn't true. Instead, he opened up a major uh, facility over in China. The problem Terry McAuliffe is, is that he's got a problem with the truth. And now we've got uh, the latest example. It turns out he secretly left his company, didn't tell anybody until the news broke later. Now we know why. Now you see this major investigation. You've got the SEC on Friday announcing that they're looking into green tech. You've got a major investigation and a potential visa for sale scandal that involves uh, the Chinese that could involve national security. It's implicated now D officials from DHS. It's a scandal that was noticed internally by officials in a Democratic administration. Uh, the then Democratic governor of Virginia, his staff had expressed concerns about this whole scheme. Bottom line is that Terry McAuliffe has disqualified himself to be governor of Virginia. And I say that as the governor of Louisiana, the, this scam so bad it would embarrass even politicians in Louisiana. And you look at this, it, it, you've got a clear choice in Virginia. I think Ken is a principal conservative. I think he'll do a great job as the next great governor of Virginia. But the bottom line is Terry McAuliffe has disqualified himself. Bottom line is, is this scandal is just the, the final nail in the coffin. You look at this scandal, visa for sales, you look at this scandal, you look at it involving Chinese nationals, Department of Homeland Security, SEC investigation on Friday, I think it's time for the Democrats, I think it's time for Shumlin, Governor Shumlin, to find a different candidate. It's time for him to tell Terry McAuliffe that it's time for him to, to, to get out of this race.